How are you feeling about this then? Don't you start that with me already. <laughs> You're just jumping around like a crazy person. Hey Free Gang, we are coming to you live but not live, from our front room in London. We are having a very fun morning so far and we've got a very exciting video to bring you today. As it's all gonna be about you, Kate, isn't it? And what you are eating. You've never done this before, have you? No, I'm feeling quite shy about it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> it's just hit you, Don't is it? Don't be shy, yeah. be grateful. That's, oh, a, that's okay. a very good Thanks. point, Jojo. Jojo's just down there doing some creativity. Here he is. Yep, just playing Minecraft. You can't look, but you can, and you can, mummy. I'm just building Daddy a little adventure map. Yeah, he does this. He gets really creative on this and actually builds de deliberate tasks for us to test out, and that's quite. Works quite well, doesn't it? Hmm. Sometimes. But without further ado, are you ready, Katie? Yep, follow me. Oh, to the kitchen. So, I'm starting off with hot water and I'm going to juice two lemons. If you want to feel super healthy, this is like the best tip. Hot lemon and water in the morning. Someone's already used this this morning, so it's a bit dirty, but never mind. Mummy, can this still be considered juicing? I guess so. But important thing to remember is you don't need one of these. We only have one of these because we do a lot of juicing with um, citrus fruits, like oranges and grapefruits and that. What I used to do is get the lemon, put a fork in there and just squeeze it into the glass. So you don't need one of these to do it. Just makes life a bit easier though. I used to only have the juice of one lemon, but I felt like the more juice I put in there, the better I feel. And it just like gets everything moving, going through your system, you know, just gives you more energy. And I feel like it boosts my metabolism as well. Don't quote me on that, I'm not a scientist. Okay, so I just put distilled water in there. I always use a bamboo straw because otherwise I feel like it affects my teeth if I drink it like just normally. Breakfast time. So this morning I'm gonna have a big bowl of oats and loads of different types of fruits, dried fruit, berries, and lots of other stuff. So I don't normally do this, but I've measured it all out so that I can put it in chronometer to show you guys like how much nutrition that I get in my breakfast. So I put in 100 grams of oats, then 150 grams of blueberries, which are really healthy, really high in antioxidants. 150 grams of raspberries. We recently found out that mulberries are really high in iron because sometimes when I get in my period, my like, iron just goes right down. So this is what I use to help with that. So that's 50 grams of mulberries and 30 grams of goji berries. I have flaxseed in my porridge, but we've run out of flaxseed. So I'm gonna have this milled chia seed, which is really, really high in omega-3s, which we need for our brains and wheatgrass powder. If you don't know about wheatgrass powder, just look it up, it's amazing. And last thing, I'm gonna have three Brazil nuts. These are really good because they have enough selenium for the day. And one more thing, which I almost forgot. This superfood blend powder, which is amazing. It's got loads of superfoods in there, made by Revolution Foods, and it is so tasty, and it's just got so much good stuff in there. Look them up if you're interested. Revolution Foods. I like it as well because it's really, really sweet. This is chocolate and vanilla flavor. They only use natural sweeteners as well, which is really cool. I just sprinkle a scoop of that on there. So then I just stir it all up, find something good to watch on YouTube, and just eat it all. Also, I'm gonna show you guys the chronometer for this meal on its own. I won't do chronometer for all my meals in the day, but I will for this one because this is a good one. It's an important one. So this is chronometer and this is what I use to track my nutrition. As you can see, I've put in everything I've had for breakfast this morning. I've got a good amount of calories here, so that'll give me lots of energy and I'm doing exercise today, so plenty of energy for the day. This meal has given me 75% of my targets, all of my fiber requirements, 63% of iron, 28% calcium, loads of vitamin A, off the scale for vitamin A, which I'm really pleased about because I find when I have high levels of vitamin A, my skin is more healthy and I just look more healthy in general. 187% vitamin C, I've even got some B12 in there and 46% folate. Also, as you can see, I have lots of my vitamins covered here and lots of the minerals covered too. This is an important one here, amazing levels of omega-3 in this meal 
and omega-6. And as you can see, all my protein needs are met in this one meal alone. So it just goes to show how much balanced nutrition you can get in one meal. Yeah, so I'm really pleased with this site. It really helps me to track the nutrition that I'm getting from my meals. All finished. Ready to go out? Yeah. Let's go then. Let's go. So we're heading out. We're heading across to East London. The reason we're going to East London, we're going to go and see our good friend Av. You remember him, Av from Mind Body Boxing. A lot of you went and subscribed to him. That was really nice of you, by the way. So I knew I knew you had it in your free gang. For those of you that don't know his channel, we'll put a link in the description. We'll put it up in the corner as well. But the reason we're going to see him, because today's video isn't just about what Katie eats, it's about Katie doing a training regime as well. Because Av, he teaches kickboxing and exercise and other fitness routines so he's going to be doing a bit of kickboxing and everything with Katie today I just feel like I want to exercise more so he's going to teach me some things and then I can keep up that, that routine and do it every day so yeah we're really looking forward to seeing him I'm looking forward to seeing what you do you wanted to get a session out with him in a uh, creep but it just never happened did it no no yeah, it happened with everyone else though just <laughs> not me let's go drive we're approaching Tower Bridge yeah and look Tower Bridge school it's imagine school. You're in a school next to Tower Bridge. Imagine that. That's, That'd be crazy. That's crazy. School next to a bridge. <laughs> what kind of world do we live in? It's happening again, free gang. We're doing Tower Bridge and we're getting it on camera. Um, we're stuck in traffic though, but like normally I hate being stuck in traffic, but when you're on Tower Bridge, you can let it go. That's the best people got married. Look, they're having a little trot. Oh, they got married. Yeah. Oh, I'm all headphone wearing. I forgot about that. Wait, Been editing in the married, car. Go on Tower Bridge and remember to kiss a polar bear. To what? Kiss a polar bear. Random. Do you know what? I'm, I'm going to put a, start putting a graphic in these videos when Jojo comes out something random. Did he just say kiss a polar bear? Yeah. Kiss a polar bear. Polar bears are beautiful creatures. Like we're, we're always like saying to Jojo, like stop saying random things because he just said the most random things all the time. And then one time we were at a festival and he said, giant wizards on stilts. And I said, Jojo, stop being so random. And then Bob said, no, there is a giant on stilts. Look behind <laughs> There's you. There's a wizard look, guy on stilts. I look behind me and there is a wizard on stilts. And then I had to apologize to Jojo. <laughs> we're nearly there in East London. Can't wait to see that. Let's go. We just changed drivers. Hello. Look at Bob. All in white. Spiritual boy band. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it feels like. I keep hearing boys to men in my head. Every time you wear this stuff, you hear boys to men. Yeah. Are we nearly there, Daddy? About five minutes away. I've just told us he's running late. And I was like, cool, shall we? It's so handy when you're running late and you're so scared about the other person. Like, and you're thinking, oh, they're going to be waiting for me. And then they tell you they're running late. I know, well. I felt so related. We don't normally get this. So I was like, yeah, I like Av. It's good. Running late, you know, it's just, it's just something about their character. And how's uh, Jojo the fox doing? He's got a fox mask on, hasn't he? How are yeah. you doing, little fox? I'm doing very good. Where did you get that mask from? I got it from a festival. Yeah, you coloured it in, didn't you? Yeah, I coloured it in. Pull it over your face and Ella. What's the fox called? The Emerald Fox. The Emerald Fox. You see, it's all green. Yeah, very nice. Jojo, you've recently learnt how to click your fingers, haven't you? Yeah. That's so cool. I can't even do that. Well, I can, but it kind of comes out not very good rubbish. Yeah, look, look, look. I'll do it rubbish. and then I'll put the sound in over for you, okay? Oh, thanks. I won't. <laughs> good, thank you. You right? oh, Good to see you. You too, man. You look like this guy called Jojo, no? with long hair and a, a human face, not a cat face. Oh, no, no, no. This is, this is a fox face, not a cat face. Oh, sorry. And I'm not this man called Jojo. I mean, I, I, I mean, I am. Whoa. Making use of your environment, good Jojo. That's not the gym, Jojo. I'm just practicing. Ah, you found some gloves. Yeah, found the good old gloves. Are you going to have a go and spot with Av today? Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm, yeah. Gonna, I'm gonna do some boxing. <laughs> you ready to go, are you? <laughs> that wall been giving you jip, Jojo. Yeah! So what you got there, Av? So I've got hand wraps that should be wrapped up nice and neatly, but they just come out the uh, dryer, so it's gonna take me a few minutes. It's time to practice my zen mind state and not be frustrated by this monotonous task. <laughs> you just call it monotonous. You're giving away your frustration. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> so what are these for? Just to protect your wrists and your knuckles a bit because we're going to be doing a lot of punching today. Well, you'll see when you do a knock when he doesn't. Yeah. You're getting your hair out of the way. Do you want to get told off like you did at Yoga A? Yeah, I got told off for having my hair down at yoga. We should cut your hair off. Get Jamie to do it. Jojo, what are you doing? Guys, I just want to big up Dean from Revolution Foods. He does this amazing raw sport protein powder. Before, all the guys here were on the whey protein. Now everyone's on this. So you see many of these raw sport packets stationed around the gym. Everyone's on it now. Great stuff. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What's this about product placement on our channel? Yeah. Is this regulated? Yeah. Before we enter, stand here. Put your fist in your hand. Let's see. I've got the tunes going, Mind Body Boxing branded up. Oh yeah man, London's best. straight bunches. So how was that? You're all changed, unsweated? Yeah, it was brilliant. Yeah, you enjoy yeah, it? I, I highly recommend it. Hey, <laughs> what, same time next week? Yeah. <laughs>
Yeah. I want to go. Oh, you don't get go. <laughs> it's interesting as well. While we uh, we had to take a break just to uh, upload a video, Jojo got quite a workout, didn't they? Yeah. Jojo, did you enjoy your boxing training? Yeah. What was your most fun thing you did with Av? Uh, uh, built our cushions. Yeah. Ah, uh, and you had to transport them. I could hear him shouting one at a time, and you just had two in your hands. <laughs> though that's just you, though, isn't it? He's like, I'll, I'll get the job done in the easiest, yeah, best way I want. Yeah, efficiency. High five, Ab. Then. I'll see you guys later. Yeah. I'll be about. Nice one, man. Nice one, bro. Yeah, we'll stop in before we go. Nice. Should we go cook daily then for some yeah. food? Let's go. Nice place, isn't it? Lovely place. Yeah. Hello. Forget the matrix. Here's the day tricks. We're off to cook daily, yeah? Yep. We haven't had cook daily in ages. There was a time when we were having a lot, weren't there? Yeah. Why are you walking along with a laptop? <laughs> this is how I like to walk. I'm uploading the video, I need everything going still. YouTube on the go. I know. Watch you beat up Av while I'm uploading the video. Up you go. Let's get both. Let's get both. We'll order from here and then we'll order from there, yeah? Hummus and bread. What you got there? So we're here at the Box Park in London, East London, and we had such a good intention. Just come get a little bit cooked daily, but then we saw what the pitta as well, and we couldn't help ourselves. So look at all this stuff we've got here now. We even bought ourselves another app. It's goodbye are not very good, but follow us. It's my one day in a day video, so I decided I wanted everything. Yeah, and then Danny Duffin just picked up the pieces, right? Yeah. So I've got from Cook Daily, Coco Soup, like coconut soup with rice and vegetables, chicken pieces as well. Beef, Hot chicken. Yeah. Like vegan chicken pieces. This is a Donna chip box, so you've got soy, Donna pieces, salad and chips. Jojo wanted olives, so I'm going to have a few of those as well. And a Donna wrap. Donna Kebab wrap yeah. as well. So again, we've got salad in there, hummus, Donna pieces. We've got a little lemonade drink. We've got an ice cream, look at that. Hell yeah, damn right. Can I get a hell yeah? We've also got three extra portions of chips as well, which, upon reflection, yeah, we've done it again. When you go in hungry and you just order everything inside, it's all good, it's all gonna get a good home. My belly. We did a big session there, we got a lot burned off. So you've had a bit of everything, Mummy. What are you moving on to now? Mint chocolate chip ice cream. Mint chocolate chip ice cream. You've been spoiled today, haven't you? It's my one taking a day video, so I can have what I want. I haven't eaten anything today. So that was a lot to eat, wasn't it? You had a good variety of food, didn't you? Yeah. Normally yeah. your second big meal isn't normally that much, is it? But Yeah. And one thing I haven't had today, which people are probably surprised about, is mangoes. The reason I haven't is because... Mommy, we... I haven't having mangoes. Oh I my know. goodness, she's going to get arrested. <laughs> She'll be arrested by herself. We went to get them yesterday and they didn't have any ripe ones. They were all green. Yeah. So I bought two boxes, but I've just got to wait for them to ripen. It's hard, isn't it? She's been sweating, waiting. <laughs> Are you done eating for the day or do you reckon you're going to have a snack when we get back? I was going to make some raw balls. Oh, yeah, you were going to make me some raw balls. Raw balls with a cup of tea, a cup yeah. of coffee? Yeah, raw balls with a cup of decaf coffee. I have to drink decaf because if I drink caffeinated coffee, I am just end up bouncing off the walls. Anyway, let's get back and get the balls on the go and get the teas and coffees on the go. Yeah. We've returned home and you find us in the middle of handstand practice, which is what most people normally do after eating a lot of food once they get home no they don't you sure go on then daddy i'm getting better at these as well do the one on your on your arms oh, oh that's so hard cut you can't do it now can you Put the camera on too late. Right, so I'm going to make the chocolate balls now for Katie because she has been asking for them. And as it's her what I eat in a day, I thought it was the perfect time. Some of you guys actually did ask a long time ago about what ingredients I use for these, and I don't think I've actually made them since then. So perfect time to do them now so you guys can see what goes into them, how I make them. I'll be honest though, I don't normally do amounts, so I'm going to try and measure things out now to give you a good idea of the ratio of different ingredients are going. I'm going to just work out as I go along. First, 
we're gonna put in a cup and a half of dates. I always do these first and always blend them up first because you need to break them down. They make the foundation of the stickiness to bind everything together. Time for it to get noisy. Play some music. Um, yeah, here's a song. Okay, so now we're gonna go with half a cup of Brazil nuts. I love Brazil nuts being in anything. Your mouth? Especially my mouth. Half a cup of those in there, and then I'm gonna put a third of a cup of cashews in there. Blend those as well. Cue the music. Looking good. Now I think I'll go with the rest. So I'm gonna go with half a cup of mulberries. These are really sweet. I have come to love mulberries in the last six months. They're like little sweets, they taste like toffee. You can literally sit there and pick at them and eat them like sweets. A half a cup of those in there. I'm gonna put a shallow teaspoon of spirulina in there. Spirulina is a really, really good superfood to have in there. I'm gonna be very, very uh, mindful of using all these brown and green foods around my white clothing. And then last of all, I'm gonna go for half a cup of cocoa powder. Cue the music. <laughs> that pawn's ain't decent. Now after you've got them mixed together, I normally just try and clump it with my fingers to see if I can find it and that seems good enough. It feels quite dry, but I don't think it's going to prevent me from moulding it into ball. If you do these and they do feel too dry, you can maybe add a bit of water, some syrup as well if you want it a bit sweeter. I'm going to go with these. Bear in mind as well that putting them in the fridge can help them hold together afterwards. I'm hoping to maybe get 10 to 12 balls out of these maybe. It's always important as well to have orange and mango juice in case you really are bored waiting for it to all blend up. Here we go, mummy. Oh, thank you, daddy. And that's a coffee with almond milk. I would advise taking a little bite only because they're very new and fresh and crumblage could be a lot more than it would be if they'd been in the fridge. Whoa, I see what you mean, they're crumbly. I'm gonna go for a bite and sip combo. Only if you're absolutely sure. I might go for sip, bite, sip. Very calculated bites because they are crumbly at the moment. Are they good? I think it needs more moisture though. Yeah, it's, they're fresh. This is what they're like. They're really tasty. If anyone likes chocolate but wants to be more healthy, these are the best things. Yeah. I found that when making these, I got into a habit of trying different variations of ingredients and ratios uh, to get different consistencies. So you just like play around and just see what kind of tastes and different consistencies you can get until you find what is perfect. Yeah, if you make your own ones and you think, oh, I might make a bit more sweet, add some more mulberries in there, some more dates maybe, a bit of water syrup to bind it if you need. I mean, I tasted those and I thought, I should have put more mulberries in it, but I'm happy with how they taste. I'm not picky. I'm like this. I hardly ever follow recipes. I just like do my own thing. <laughs> I just chuck my own amounts in there and that and just hope for the best. Are you telling the free game just to dismiss my recipe and just go for whatever feels right? No, Go no. for whatever feels right for a game. No, I'm no, giving no. you guidelines, run with it now. I'm just saying don't be afraid to just try different things and try yeah. adding your own, like just one day just get a pot and just chuck everything in there. Right, Frigo, I want you to completely dismiss that last statement from Katie. I know this is a what are you in a day, but she's gone a bit over. I don't know what I put in those balls to make you so, ah, not enough mulberries. If there's more mulberries, you'd make more sense. But yeah, this is just guidelines of different ingredients. Do what you want with it, really. So that's all your eating done for the day, mummy. Have you enjoyed your first individual what's eating in a day video? I think so, yeah. Yeah. I hope it was good. Yeah, it was good. I think it's just you have a very- I can't, We can't judge that. They, they're the ones that have got to judge whether it was good or not. <laughs> well, then no better time for me to then say comment below guys what do you think of you know katie's video what do you think of not only what she's eaten but what she's got up to today you were pretty mean in that gym as well we'd love to hear your
your comments below and also let us know what you have eaten today breakfast lunch dinner even if you've just had a few meals or different snacks and things we'd love to know we haven't had time to collect the shout outs so we will do those in the next video so if any of you do want a shout out get it in now and hopefully we'll get it done in the next video or the video after and if any of you guys are new to this channel and you are liking following our journeys what we eat what we get up to the fun exciting adventures we have we would love it if you subscribed and joined the free game for more fun and if you're already subscribed why don't you hit that notification bell so you're kept up to date on when we do upload and we will see you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching peace out Dad. <laughs>